Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day. It's Friday, and we're gonna do things. We're gonna do the EV Sam's our EV rated, which I should be aware that should be out now. If not, and we're gonna need to start. So if we don't get to do the EV rate, then I guess we'll play Phoenix right. I should have double checked that this was freaking working or not. Also, there's a massive I predict EVs. I think this will come in EV day. Let's connect and we'll, we'll see. I think we are all set up. All right, let's see. Yep, looks like the... Yep, looks like it's all underway. I just need to find it. Apparently, I have an idea what I to do. I've looked at the EVs, what EVs got from Red Wires. There's no freaking EVs. There's Dark. I believe EVs a normal type. Afternoon, Jason. Hope you're having a good day. More EV raids were... Ah, here we go. Alright, I think it actually were set already. I need to go find my Iron Hans. I really should get this, like... Actually... Fixed up. I know where how the things are. I hope everyone good day, Jason. Like I said, you got a heads up what's happening today, so. Uh, let's put away. Come on. Oh. There's an item I need to find. I don't need booster energy. That's an electric seed. Nope, none of these. No, not the loaded dice. Oh, that's a moss hammer. Let's let's over. Wait, do I put it back? I think I might put it back. I'm looking for a clear amulet. Oh, I don't have one. Oh, never mind. We don't actually have one. But I do need to see, uh, give Iron Hands another move. Let me give remember Electric Terrain. All right. I suppose then let's go to Mexico Goza. That was over here. Alright. The more from this red, we will go into. You know. Yes, sir. I think there's some work being done, etc. All right. Hey, where was the labor delivery? There's so much place. I can't remember where. Oh, it was further down. All right. Let's see, where is it? Here it is.
No, no, no. Oh, yeah. There we go. Such a try to do with other people. Let's try this a group. We'll try with other people and then there's not we'll try on our Interesting. Oh Magic Pants are of Corbinite. Okay. Okay. I think nobody is getting him. There's the shield. I think we all have individual plans. Alright. Electric Durian! Alright. Do you need healing? Oh, it wasn't really a lot of damage, was it? Uh, if anyone wants to throw a healing... Oh, you charm her! Alright. Oh, they're just going to keep trying. Alright. Not a crit. Alright. No! 
Go reset. Wait, that's bad. Alright. Oh, heal. That's good heal. No, not hyper poise again. Oh, I'm alive! I like a fr All right. I think we still win. I think we won. It's like we're all doing alternative bonds, but they all work together. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Stop it! Oh, okay. All right. That's you, Jake. All right, we'll catch the Pokeball, and then I'll go set a finish right. One run, that was with, that was with multiple people this time. Nice. Yeah, so that was that was really, that's the this one has a mighty mark. Okay. Nice. All right, we'll put the EV in the box. I'll see if I'll disconnect. And then I'll go set up uh yes attorney. Alright, so I'll be back in a bit then. I'll set up uh yes attorney nine.
Oh, we're good. All right, I'll recap for anyone who hasn't kept up with things right here. Uh, we did the trial part of the last episode of the game for way of my turnabout, so we're on the investigation or well, investigations. Let's get into it. So far, do two more episodes and then two more parts, and then you know we'll move on. So it's March twenty second, five forty four p.m. Right in cool office. Mystic Maya. Mystic Maya. Sniff, sniff. There are pearls. I, I can't take it anymore. Uh, look, I'll be all right. Everything may still work out. Huh? The condition was that we had to get a not guilty verdict. And so far, the kidnapper has kept his word and hasn't hurt Maya. And he won't because Miss Guard hasn't given a guilty sentence yet. Uh, Cheer up! We don't have time to stand around crying. We have to get going. You're right. Mystic Maya is in much more pain than I am. Yes, you're right. That's right. So, hey, you guys, glad I caught your pal, uh, Mr. Scruffy Detective. Oh boy, looks like Detective Gumshoe has been dubbed Mr. Scruffy Detective in Pearl's books now. It's just plain old Mr. Dick Gumshoe now. I come to talk to you, pal. I've come to talk to you, pal. But we're kind of busy right now. Let's do it. Look, it's my tarnished badge. Oh, it's a little tarnished, don't you think, pal? Don't worry, I'll make it all sparky shiny again. I... I'm really touched. So, what are you going to do from now on? What do you mean, pal? Well, you've been fired, right? So, do you have a new job lined up yet? Oh, that? Uh, what am I supposed to do now, pal? I... I don't have anything coming in at all until my next payday. What are you talking about? You don't have another payday. I guess that means I'm just gonna have the work here at your place, pal. I have a feeling my controller's gonna put that out of the magic up. That's. All right. All right, I'm still the journey. It should be good. Say what? Alright. We'll be searching for things that will prove Mr. On Guard innocent all day, right? Well, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna help you, pal. I got lots of experience in investigating. I'm much more people's places. I'm gonna make really simple pal meals, pal. I'll take care of them all. One more thing. Let's let Mr. Scruffy Detective take care of things. Uh, uh, okay. By the way, what's your best dish? Instant noodles, pal. Why am I so run by people who only eat cheap, unhealthy food? This is the first time I've ever seen Mr. Edgeworth act like that. I never, never thought he'd say something like he didn't care if Miss Andrews killed herself. He, he said that? That's horrible. But because he's doing, but because of him doing that, we got the truth finally. The truth. Miss Andrews last testimony. I wonder if that was the truth. I'll give you that there's some. That there was nothing strange in our testimony itself. But I still think there is something fundamentally wrong with the whole thing. You mean about that thing, pal? Why would you want to No, I mean almost need to free him, Mr. On guard. I couldn't figure that out from anything she said all day. Then then you're saying that your test you're saying that then you're saying that that Ah, then, then you're saying that testimony was a lie? Not a lie, per se. It just 
feels like there's more here than meets the eye. Or that's what Ezra would like us to believe. That's such a dirty trick! Even that well, the prosecutor was better than not. Francisca von Karma. Speaking of von Karma, do you have any more information about her, on her condition? Wasn't she shot this morning? Miss von Karma was shot today on the way to the trial by a pistol pal. By a pistol pal. But she's going to be fine, right? I mean, Edgar says she was in stable condition, but. Well, she was shot in the shoulder, so she's okay and still hanging in there. They should be done taking the bullet out, so she's probably resting at the hospital. Which one? What? Are you going to visit her, pal? No, well, I'm kind of thinking about it. Hey! You actually got a heart, pal! You said you got a heart, don't you? Do you remember, guys, she was being tortured to death, not being able to go to the trial today? Maybe we'll give her. Sorry, maybe we'll be good for her if you want. If you want to let her whip you for a bit, pal. Let's let's go let her whip it, let's, Mr. Nick. No, I'm definitely not going. Um, let's see. Maybe the hustle. Oh yeah, the Huddy Clinic. That name sends a chill down my spine. Oh, I guess it can't hurt to stop by and say hi. It'll be okay. You'll see her again, little missy. Yeah. It's really important that you don't give up. Okay. I guess the big voice really does just give you a sense of presence. I, I won't give up either. Ever. There's a giant building just outside the window. It's a Gay Water Hotel, a high class luxury hotel. Actually, the crime happened at the recently completed hotel in the center of town. The Gay Water Imperial Hotel. Just how far are they going to expand their empire? Hey, it's wilting a little. I, I'll give it with some delicious water, pal. Ah, it's okay. I already did that. The watering con. Where are you, Mr. Watering Con? Did you just call the Watering Con, Mister? This is the, um, Nickel Summer, right? Yeah, that's right. Mr. Nick, please take care of Miss Maya and be here, Nickel Summer, right? Legal looking, legal, difficult looking legal books standing in the middle room. Hey, mock me! Oh, do you need to link something up on one of those law books, Mr. Ning? Which book is it? Which book do you need? Um, I can't read those hard books, and um, I can't read them either. But I can read on I'm Tall Pal! Please stop competing with an eight-year-old. It's disturbing. My desk. Because I don't have time to sit, it's unusually clean. Oh, I cleaned it up! It'll be more for you last night. But but I can get, get an even more cleaner, pal. Ah! That's that's for the toilet! What a mess. Literally. March 22nd, Holly Link Reception. Never will I ever come back to this place. Mm, yes, are you here to visit the patient? Mm. Ah, hi! Wait a second, you're. Mm, yes, I'm Dr. Holly. Ooh, ooh. Why are you still here? Mm, yes, what is it? Mm, can I help you? You can tell me. Mm, yes. Dr. Holly! Edgeworth? Yes, I'm Director Holly. Ooh -hoo. Oh, you're about from this morning! Yes, what is it? Oh. Director, Francisca, 
Hi, it's Francesca from Karma. Hmm, you don't need to worry. Yes, she's a good aunt. But you see, I'm purchasing a curver. Hmm, yes, he he. Hmm, yes, enough thing. That surgery, it went well. You have my gratitude. It looks like Edgeworth doesn't know about this director and his secret. She looks so pitiful. Absolutely terrified. Mm, yes. But I understand. Mm, mm, yes, her opponent was a gun, after all. Mm. And when I snuck up on her real secret leg, she would scream real loud. Mm, yes. Let's see. But, ah, uh, but she's really cute too. When I do that, she whipped me with her whip. Uh-huh. Boy, did I cry like very. Mm, yes. I think I can use it. Mm. Go back to your room. You're so mean, uh huh. So mean, my frisky Francesca. And you're ah, okay, okay. I mm, yes. It's time for my IV drops. Mm, yes. Um, what are those turnips doing in your hand, Mister Pinkstripe? Right? Ah, uh, I knew I shouldn't have come here. I was shot in front of the courthouse. In my right shoulder. Hm. There's no big deal. This sort of thing happens all the time. I even have full attention. I even have full intentions of running to this the at uh, the trial this morning. But that'll be too much for you. There's no need to act tough in front of us, you know. Regardless, I was dragged here by that man over there. He was so unyielding, one has to wonder if he was simply interested in stealing my kiss. It was the only logical course of action given the bullet was still lodged in your shoulder. But by taking over the kiss, I found myself having to clean up after you and that irresponsible deal you made. I think I know what deal he's referring to. Miss Von Karma, you made a deal with Miss Andrews today, didn't you? I don't know what you mean. In order to make sure you got your guilty verdict on Mr. Ungar. You told Miss Andrews to not testify in court today. Hm. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you have proof that I made such a deal? You're denying it? It looks like you were lucky, Mr. Phoenix, right? If I had been in court today, this trial would already be over. All while hiding Mr. Andrew's own crime. That isn't my problem. Whether she had tempered with the evidence or not, I have only one objective. To find a guard guilty of murder. The end justifies the means, Mr. Phoenix, right? The end justifies the means. Miss Moncara. Adrian Andres believed in you when you said, if you don't tell the truth of what really happened, then on guard will be found guilty. Um, what does that have to do with me? Because of that, she is not in danger of being found guilty herself. All because she believed in your words until the very end. This still has nothing to do with me. She's just a weak person, that's all. But you had to know she was... Ow! I think visiting ours here are almost over. So if you excuse me... What's wrong? Why did she suddenly cut you off? Probably because she thinks I had the advantage in the arguing. Edgeworth. What happened today at the trial, Edgeworth? That was not like you at all. I mean, I know you knew about Mr. Andrew, Ms. Andrew's condition. You have made her testify as many times as you wanted. But to go that far? 
Ah. Uh, but you wouldn't testify about that until I said something. Listen, right. The courtroom is a garden of just judgment. I am putting myself on the line when I stand in there. And that's why I made the witness do the same. It's only natural. By the way, Edgeware, you're really angry in court today. That's rare for you. Witness, that card, give it to me. All right. Do you have any idea what you have stupidly yet inadvertently done? Yes. I can't believe you hit this for me all, all this time. That card. What in the world is it? You mean this? Listen, right. This is top secret information. You absolutely cannot leak this. A special investigation team has assisted for a murder of for a number of years. But you knew of it. I understand. Their task is to find the owner of this car. A man called Shelly the Killer. And his name, and as his name, I'm sorry, and just as his name states, he is a killer, an assassin, the best at that. Assassin? The car was placed next to the victim at the time of the murder. Miss Andrews was hearing it. So who is this Shelly the Killer? The Killer is the name of a long-standing line of assassins. Long-standing? The name first appeared about a hundred years ago, I hear. Shelly is the professional name of the third heir of the Killer's... Shelly is the professional name of the third heir to the the killer name. So because, of her, so because his professional name is Shelly, he leaves cars with Shell in them. He has a habit of making sure to leave a car by the body of, the, of his victims. Why would he do something like that? You think it's part of his duty to his clients. His duty? He leaves a card, and his client can be assured it was he who killed the victim. It also serves as insurance against any charges being pushed onto his clients. Let's see, the killer values the trust between his clients and himself above all else. It seems that this is one honorable assassin with a moral or conscience. I guess that even honorable assassins can assist. So you think this assassin... You think he's the one who did the killing in this case? appeared that way. The discovery of the car basically confirms it. Wouldn't you agree? Shelly the killer, huh? I've noticed something at the trial today. You were behaving in a very strange manner. Is something the matter? I guess I should just tell him. I, uh, she's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? What does the kidnapper want? An acquittal. I see. I had no idea. I will prepare a rescue team as soon as possible. And resolve this by tomorrow. Really? Did you hear him, isn't it? This answer is going to... Stop trying to call... Tell me, Ashworth. I don't need your pity. Mr. Nick? There's no way you can find her. We don't even... We don't have a single lead to go on. There's only one way to save her. I, I have to get in the quill somehow. It's the only way. Right, listen. You need to know something. Ron Corrida was killed by Shelly the Killer. And the clan who ordered the job is Matt on guard. Your own client. Please stop! I can't listen to you. I can't believe that. I see. Well, if you want to continue your investigation, you will need this. What is it? The hotel right now is restricted to police personnel only. 
us. We are looking for any clues that might lead us to Shelly the Killer. If you take this with you to the hotel, I'm sure they'll, they will let you enter. Let of reduction, out of the court records. Received by Edgeworth, allows Burr to freely investigate the crime scene. In any case, I must attend to the preparation for Maya's rescue team. We'll meet again. If anything should happen, I, if you excuse me. Mr. Nick? You, do you think the Southern Guard hired an assassin? No way. I mean, he doesn't have a psych lock. Yeah, I guess not. Maya. Please, all I ask is you make it home safe and sound. It unknown, time unknown, location is also unknown. <laughs> I guess even killers can be a little clumsy. Clumsy enough to trap a card like this for me. And um, even though he said he was an assassin, I bet he's just making that up. Like how Nick does with everything in court. Anyway, let's try out the card trick with this car card I just found. That means like I got the door open. Okay. Time to go take a look around. Yet unknown, time unknown, location also unknown. What is this place? I got a feeling I'm not in the hotel anymore. Are those videos over there? Well, I'll worry about that later. For now, I should be looking for clues. This way, I can shoot him to sis, and maybe she'll get out. And maybe get out of here. There's a framed picture sitting on this coffee table. It's a picture of a woman. She's kind of pretty. Hey, it looks like something's written here. Let's see. I think it says, "With love, Celeste." I bet this could be a clue. That's weird. What's a figurine doing on the sofa on the sofa in a place like this? I think it's a bear? Aww, how cute. It's got a lot of cuts and sit and slits on it. I wonder if it's some kind of puzzle or something. Ugh, locked, of course. That uh, doesn't look like I can use the card to open this door. There's a little hole in the bottom of the door. Bottom door. If only I were a little skinnier. Maybe I'd be able to crawl through there. What's this thing? An antenna? I guess? And this is... A VCR! There sure are a lot of electronic gadgets here. But what is an antenna doing here? Oh, this simply will not do. I cannot have you wandering around the well. Yeah! It seems... You or Mr. Wright is truly concerned about you. He is? For now, I would suggest you remain cooperative. Cooperative, yeah. If you cannot, there are ways in which I can help you. Ways? You mean... Dead men tell no tales. It's how the saying goes, correct? But th then? I'm almost certain I told you on our first meeting. I am... An assassin. No way! You're lying! I mean, an assassin? People are not always who they appear to be. Nick! March 22nd, 7 4 p.m., Holly Clinic, reception. Mr. Nick? Hmm? Oh, yes, Pearls. Probably my thoughts about my situation. Mr. Edgeworth has left, you know. I guess for now, I have no choice but to leave Mr. on guard. But I think I should listen to the story one more time. Alright, let's get going too. Okay! March 22nd, the Sensory Center Visitor's Room. I'm sorry, but visiting hours are over for today. Aww! Arrgh. I have too many questions I need to ask. I'm sorry, Van Pien's right. A lawyer for one of the... You're Mr. Wright, you say? Oh, yeah. There's a message here for you. A message? It's from Madame Guard. 
Ah, here you are. What did he write? Is it something really important? I don't know. Well, let's see what it has to say. To must your lawyer, dude. I've got something really important to tell you. Why do I feel uneasy all of a sudden? Oh, Mr. Wright. So actually, I have a favor to ask you. I have this cat named Shu. I didn't put a lot of food when I left the house, so he's probably pretty hungry. I think you drop by my, my house and feed Shu. My dude. My house is just a little way down from the hotel, right? This is, this is terrible! Let's hurry! We have to feed his cat! I'm sure poor Shu's stomach is scrolling by now. Yeah, I guess. As soon as please have my cat Shu, my house is just a little way down the hotel. Master Quest is a request. I guess you should go check up on this cat. I'm going to get police station in terminal first department. Why everyone looks really busy with something or another? Hmm. They're probably strengthening the evidence for tomorrow's trial. Hey, hurry up, will ya? Pass that victim's list around. You gotta be kidding me! There's over 100 people in here! Um, Mr. Nick? Is Mr. Gar really that big and bad of a criminal? Actually, Pearls, never mind. It seems like they're working on a different case. This is the chief of the detectives here. He's clicked to his computer screen. What? Prosecutor from Carmen was shot in front of the courthouse? Who did it? Who shot her? I have a sneaky suspicion that even Gumshoe could do this guy's show. This must be one of the detectives. He's smelling something to himself. Very well. Now, why do you want to work for our company? Well, that would have to be because I feel like I would like to help the company grow. He must be doing it in stream for corporate interviews. Oh, right, we have to do it from the hotel. March 22nd, Gilbert Hotel, Hotel Lobby. Alright, Mr. Nick, let's go look for clues. We have to, for Mystic Maya's sake. You shall not pass! Mrs. Obag, don't define my name and turn it into, into a ghost, you specky head of Harry Fogger. As a you, I've been made to look like the bad guy again. Although I did get a piece of gum from Edgy Boy, just as he promised. No! Ah, Mrs. Obag, keep your hands off of me. How is this airtight? The work gets in or out. The work gets in and the work gets out. Um. Then why do you keep putting it on? Hmm. Don't think you can get me to move with silly questions. You're gonna have to defeat me if you want to get by. I'm not hearing this. There we go. March 22nd on guards, mansion, living room. Hmm, sure, sorry. I'll go turn on the light. I'll go turn on the light. Wow. Dude, this is what a star house looks like. Must be nice to be rich. Come on, Mr. Nick. Let's find Shu, the kitty cat. Shu! So this, I guess this is Shu. Oh, what a lovely cat. Hello, Shu. The cat seems like pearls. Pardon me. May I help you with something, mister? Ah, uh oh, um, we're lawyers, actually. I'm Mr. Guard's lawyer. The Masters? Then, you must be Mr. Wright. Yes. Ah, uh, it is a pleasure to meet you, your wonderful self. I am the family butter. Butler. John Doe. Nice to meet you. Dada. I was wondering when you read this. I regret it come out. Okay. It's not. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Guess we're just doing stuff. You must know all sorts of things about Mr. Guard, right? Honestly, sir, I don't believe my master is capable of, of such a foul deed as murder. And, um, anything else? No, not especially. It is not appropriate for a lowly servant to speak of the master or his affairs. Hmm, high typical butler like, as it were. Mr. Doe, how long have you, you served in this res uh, at this residence? Well, sir, if I would have to say, maybe about one year. And, um, anything else? No, not especially. It's not probably for a lowly servant to speak of himself and his affairs. You know, I really thought Mr. Engard was the kind of have a meal for a butler. This is the fair cute cat you got there. It's my duty to take care of him. The master, rather, fa see shoe. And, um, anything else? No, not especially. It's not appropriate for a lowly servant to speak of the family cat. Well then, I guess I don't need this piece of scrap paper anymore. Matt's new crumbled up, and they're blown from it. Well, I'm afraid I must take my leave of you now. Oh, we should probably get going ourselves. Ah, so young, and yet already so accomplished, a master of law. But there is also a lot to be proud of being in being a butler, in charge of a house and all. Thank you for the compliment, sir. People are not always who they appear to be. Now if you excuse me. A, a giant bicycle is flying from the air! That bicycle pearls is one where you don't have to pedal and move it on. And it was on its own. Really? Wow! Sorry to disappoint you, it can't fly. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's a Jan in cooking hearth. That's actually a fireplace. How are they different, Mr. Nick? You no, know, I never actually seen a hearth before. Come to think of it. You should come and visit the fame. Hey, Miller, then. I'll show you one when you do. It's a very comfortable and spacious lounge set. I wonder if famous stars drop by and sit around and have a good time. In any case, I don't really belong here, do I? Ah, What is with me and feeling in fear today? Ah, those are master. They're master here. Yeah. One in the middle is the steel samurai. The one next to that is the pink princess and the evil magistrate. They fought many battles against the backdrop of Neo Tokyo. Well, you really know a lot about the steel samurai, Mr. Nick. I don't know whether to laugh or cry that I know more about the sh that show than a kid. There's a small door at the bottom of this big, bigger door, Mr. Nick. I bet it's for Miss Mr. Gar's cat to use. Oh, you mean shoe? The door. It's locked tight. Well, I guess that's to keep noisy people like me from entering it. There's another door over there. You shouldn't go wandering off over there, Mr. Nick. Yes, Pearls. Now I know how Maya feels when I tell her to stop playing around. I think we're done here. Yeah, we're done here. I should have the uh, Avengers Center again. Nope. Um. Uh, you're a million light years too early to be asking me questions, Whipper Snapper. <laughs> The only way I'm going to get an investigation done is to first do something about this kooky alien.
Hmm, maybe if I sure this letter I got from Ashworth. Um, uh, Zobag, if you would look at this. What? You want me to look at this worthless piece of. Hey, Chipu! Er, is that her perfume? Caramel near Lua, I smell. Near more? Let's see here. Please allow this unsophisticated young person to conduct this investigation. Yours truly, Miles Edgeworth. Yours truly? Hmm. That man's got good fl That man's good at flattery. Fine, but only because it should be said so. You understand? Out of induction given to Mrs. Obag. I'll just throw. So I just thought of something I have to do. To do. Remember, no mess around. You have to you do anything bad, and I won't let you off the hook. It looks like she has strong feelings for Mr. Edgeworth. That may be, but you know nothing's going to come of it. That's so mean, Mr. Nick. Feelings are meant to be told and shared. Ow! Every time we talk about love, I always end up with a handprint on my face somehow. Um, so anyway, let's continue our investigation. Okay. Ah, what? What the hell? One little thing before I forget. You can't go in the iron guard room today. Why? The place in the investigation team is going to be in there all day, you hear? I wonder if they're the team in charge of investigating the killer. So don't go in there! Step one foot in there and you'll face the wrath of Wendy Obang! March 22nd, get water tail, fail the hall. Looks like we're the only ones here. And yet, the hotel seems so busy somehow. Probably because the police team are screaming for clues about the killer. March 22nd, get water tail, no hallway. Hey, city boy! Uh, Lola! You're still here? Breaking course? Investigation for, for eats or sarves and her ability to snap up a scoop, yeah? And this hell uh, just has that aura of mystery. You know, like something's always about to happen. But do you have a camera? Wreck given! I'm not gonna I feel like has gotta have a ca camera of the, of the ear like corn to be a real pro, you know? So I'm hanging around here. Speaking of cameras and beating the mouth, you have mines, you breath thief. Why can't you drop that thief thing already? I want to ask you about the night of the murder. But, you really going to shout out the bucks for info I've got? Oh, uh, you were loitering in this hallway the night of the murder, were you not? Well, kind of, but... Brace yourself, means here it comes. I didn't exactly hang around here the entire time, you know? Follow a few stars around. Got a few autographs, chicken beyonds, and a soda pop with a few of them too. Looks like she wasn't here the entire time that time. The security also wasn't in this hallway the whole time either. I guess that means there's no one, one, one who can tell us who came and who went that night. So, but no, that was intact your, your camera case. Oh, that the I wrote? Yeah. Can I believe what you wrote? You ready? You mean something about on guard shoving this macho lady in the Corrida? Yeah. Oh well. I reckon you best not be believing that. What? Look, I sort of wrote that on a whim, you know? Right one came that came to mind. But ever came to mind? Yeah, when you get done to it, it's just a lot of random bulldozers. 
Hey, what's with ya? Why are you staring at me like, like my grandpa used to? Hmm. Hey, um, why do you look like you suddenly got older too? Or because I'm shrinking here. Um. Oh, I'm a baby! My $1,600 baby! What's with that red coated prosecutor anyway? Hi. That guy took me, it was Evans, and refused to give it back to me! Well, that's kind of how it is. Hey, hey! You're a red coat's friend, ain't ya? So put in a, f a few good words for me and give me my com give me back my camera. You want me to do what? Listen, now the guy got real good for about five hours, and I guarantee you'll give it back. Why don't you do your own dirty work? Well, I reckon it's time for me to get going. A tabloid photographer with a camera is just a tabloid, huh? Um, yeah, I guess so. Keep yourself together out there, you hear? I'm coming in to see you in court tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'll see you then. And you too are yet, let alone. Um, keep up good work, okay? Okay. Don't be picking about your food tonight. Okay. And make sure you do all your homework, you hear? Okay. Have you ever... If you have funny, would, you, would you please just leave already? I'm gonna try second get what our tail could write us hotel room. Uh, oh. uh, Mr. Nick! What is that otherworldly ghastly moaning? Uh, uh, I, I hate him a ghost! Uh, I don't think it's a ghost. Maybe it's a demon. Excuse me! What are you calling a demon, Brad? Ah! Zoinks! It's an alien! What are you calling an alien? Oh, it's just you, Miss Obag. What are you doing here? What's wrong with you, youngs? What's wrong with the with youngs today? I came down here to pay my respects to my poor Joan, and you're disrupting me! Sorry, me. Mean. Please tell me about the night of the murder. Just one more time. I talked about it plenty at the trial. I was fooled, tricked, deceived by the foul of a photographer on her note. She was floating around here with that imbecile look on her face. With that imbecile look on her face? Okay, gone. Now hold on a second there, you little piss squeak. If you're gonna take notes, at least make me sound better than that. Oh, alright. Now I've seen everything. Did you know, I was working that night too. Do my job, minding my own business. So it's not like I had time to be standing around here the whole night. I was wondering if you could tell me a bit more about Mr. Karita. He was the most popular star, you know. Especially where it counts in my books. But I heard... He was, like, behind in the pools against Mr. and Guard. Well, that's just a recent thing. Bad luck and all that, you know. But he was going to become an even bigger star than he used to be. Look, just look at the mountains of this mountain of presence. It's a show of mount... It's a show of the mountain of feelings all his fans have for him. Yeah. The moon is pretty big, and certainly nothing that she can stick at. Mr. Nick? Hmm? What is the pearls? The presents! They're all bearish, right? She's got a point. There isn't a single thing here that isn't a bear. All of Cr Mr. Cry's presents are from his, fan Sorry, from his fans seem to be bears. Oh, that's because she can't think of Juan without thinking about bears. Bears? Why bears? You know? When my dear Joan, and when my dear Joan was training, he fought bear hunted with bit with a bear. He refused to give in and let the bear win. And uh, but after the fight, they became friends. Wow, what a warm hearted warming well heartwarming story. Look, it's just like in those young people's dramas. 
I can see those who took her to... No matter where we're going. Yeah, <laughs> you, you sure can't fight. You too, Bob. Me too. Did all that really happen? It's in a spy angry, Bob! What a load of crook. So ever since then, fans have been giving him bears as presents. Yeah, nice. Bears. I'm Uncle Bear, and I say it's barely 8 o'clock. What is that infernal racket? It's one of those, it's one of the presents going off. So it's like it's already 8 p.m., way past your bedtime. Or that startled me. I thought I was going to die for a second. 8 p.m.? That's the time when the award ceremony ended that night, remember? I'm sure flies. I to believe it's been two days since the ceremony. Transceiver! Hello? Hello? This is not a phone. Maya! Hi, it's Maya! You haven't heard her, have you? It seems you were not able to fulfill your end of the bargain, Mr. Attorney. I have heard the news. So we've seen my present did you no good. No! Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! One more day! Please! All I ask is for one more day. I I'll get I'm not gonna take a verdict for sure this time. Please. I suppose if I must. I need that equipment more than anything else, after all. Please, please let Maya say something. I want to hear she's alright. Alright. Then. Hello. What is with all aesthetic all of a sudden? Hello? Hello? It seems. that. And that. Damn it! Did the transceiver just suddenly break? Excuse me. What, what happened? I don't know. All of a sudden, they became nothing but static. Ah! Mr. Maya! Mr. Maya! Why did the transceiver suddenly break like that? I should probably have an electronic expert to it. The sooner the better. Oh yeah, I think I need to go to... March 22nd, rain cool office. Hey, welcome up, pal! I thought I'd make you a little something for dinner. But that's nice, thanks. A rich man's delicious full course meal! Everybody can, that is! I'm sorry you went through all the trouble to cook, but I don't have the time to eat. Oops, looks like you don't have a can opener, pal. You've got to be kidding. And here I thought he had already whipped something up. Oh, I know! There's one way I know how to be helpful. Ask about anything you want, pal. Go ahead. Well, since he's here and offering, I wonder if I should try asking about it. The transceiver. Oh, Mr. Nick. You should ask Mr. Scruffy Detective about that thing. What thing? Oh, yeah. This thing just up and broke all of a sudden. It, it broke, pal? When I was talking to the kidnapper, it just suddenly broke into static. Look, it sounded like this. I don't hear any static, pal. Huh? Maybe it fixed itself. That's strange. I'm sure I was making a loud static noise. Hmm, maybe. Maybe what? Maybe it was electromagnetic interference, pal. Electromagnetic interference? Um, so what is electromagnetic interference? It's something that happens when a radio signal gets mixed up with another signal, pal. Oh, when you put it that way. I don't understand what you're talking about. Uh. I first help, when a cell phone goes off next to the computer screen. The stuff in the screen gets kind of fuzzy and starts acting funny, right? Huh? Um, Peter? 
Um, it's like when you use the dryer next to the TV, and the screen starts looking weird. Oh, oh, yes, the TV does that. Oh, so that's what you're talking about. He seems amazingly happy to be able to understand this. So the room you were you were in happened to I think I had to um the exact I think I had the door. I'm back, I was nowhere, I have it in. There we go. So, yeah, so the room you were in happened... Sorry, that happened... To the transceiver ha... Sorry, the room that you were in... That interfered... To the transceiver happened. There's gotta be something there that's sending the very strong radio signal we have, pal. Something like... Hmm, like a listening device or something. Ah! Hey, speaking of that! Where were you when it happened? We were in Mr. Coraitis' room. The scene of the murder. What? That's it. I'm going to sneak into the pinning and get a book sweeper. I'll meet you at the crime scene later. All right, pal? Uh, wait. That's gumshoe. Oh, yeah, baby. It's investigation time. I'm on fire, pal. My injured fingers are itching to go. Yeah! We should be going too, Mr. Nick. All right. Oh, right. All right, let's go. March right, second, give it our tail, Coretta hold him room. Hey, you're friendly here, pal! Sorry to keep you waiting. Alright. Do you have the, um, bug sweeper? Uh, well, you see. I got busted trying to sneak in, pal. Then suddenly, I'm staring at the panic doors. From the outside, I mean. So yeah, I couldn't get one of the... The police bug sweepers. What do you mean you couldn't get one? We need that item! Hey, hey, calm down, pal. I didn't say I didn't get one. Just not the police's. Wow, so this is a bug sweeper. It looks a little broken. Oh. Hey, this is maybe I was an elementary school, pal. Oh, by who? See, hey, of course. Ah, seeing this shirt brings back memories. Hey! Don't look down on the pal. I'm sure it's a little beat up. Sure it looks a little beat up. But I put my heart and soul into building this puppy here. Your heart and soul? 
Go back. Trust me, pal. I'll do the job. But. But. But you can't set the sensitivity. There's going to be about anything that gives off electromagnetic waves. But isn't it better that way? Oh, <laughs> well, anyway. This is probably all the way here. Might as well get rewarded, right, pal? I'm getting that sinking feeling again. Okay, now I'll tell you how to use this, baby. There's a list of the fights or something other than... Or some other sort of bug hidden in this room, pal. But we're going to find it, right? Right, nice. Right. First, let's turn the sweeper on. Next, move the sweeper around the room and give it a real thorough look to see, pal. The sweeper let you know how strong the, the signal it's picking up. So keep an eye on it, okay? Once you find something that's giving off a lot of real waves, press the X button to lock onto it. There's a lot of things here that's going off radio waves. That's, that's going to give off radio waves. So take a good look at anything and everything that seems suspicious, pal. Alright. I'm going to sign your side and keep an eye out. Give me a yell if you find in the book. Got it, pal? Right. Well, the phone is the most common place for listening device. I say. But let's take the receiver apart first before we get her get her ourselves here. Well, you look like electronics, don't you, Mr. Nick? Yeah, I know tons. Especially when it comes to taking them apart. It's my specialty. I'll leave the fixing apart for the machine. Well, it's our listening device in there? No. I remember if I had to be a f in a phone too. I don't really think this in fact is in the TV of all places. Looks like the TV was left on and now it's showing an old samurai movie. Yeah, it plays all these sorts of international movies as well as domestic ones. You know, every time I watch one of these old movies, I always think, wow, these Japanese stars are really good at Eng English. Um, yeah. When I grow up, I want to study Japanese. I should probably keep my mouth shut here and not destroy her dreams. Alright. Lamp check. Listen to the device? Nope. It's all lamps in this room. Aren't there, Mr. Nick? Yeah. And they're all on. You shouldn't do that, Mr. Nick. Don't you know that's wasteful? Ah, yeah. I'll be more conscious than this an eye on. Sorry. A cell phone. Nope, no bugs in here. A cell phone? What? Don't tell me you don't know what a cell phone is. I'm sorry. I've never seen one before. Now that's... Now she mentions it. My cell phone couldn't get any reception while I was staying in Karan Village. And Pearls has never lived outside the village. That's village, so... Well, I guess I can't say that's... It's impossible to live with one. Oh, what a lovely bear! Ah! Ah! It's supposed to be one of those fancy bear-shaped toy rockets! It's a robot! It's a real robot! Yeah! It's a real one. Mr. Nick! Yes? How many horsepower is it? How many horsies? Horsies? Um, well, look, it's a bear, so, um, um. The radio is on playing something. Oh, it's Kit's Question Corner. Professor, Professor, why is there a frog? Yes, why is it, Mr. Nick? Why don't you listen to the radio program a little more, Pearls? This is the refrigerator, right? I don't really think the listening device is in 
something like this. Because it's filled with nothing but healthy festivals, Jesus, right? Um, uh, yeah, sure. What does this, what does that have to do with listening devices? Oh, so this looks like some sort of hot water pot, but... Oh, well, it's kind of a, like a hot water pot, I guess. But instead of hot water, coffee comes in. Really? This pot can do that? Um, is there a pot that orange juice comes out of? I don't think there's anything like that, Pearls. Sorry. Okay, take it. Oh. Oh, the water in this hot water pot is running. I'll go get more water for it. Oh, okay, sounds good. Looks like she's forgotten all about the... Listen, guys. It's a plenty of calculator. It says 50 on it. Maybe he was calculating his allowance. Oh, 50 cents? Um... Maybe if he was a spare medium. It's a TV remote, but it doesn't look like the listening device in here. And so I was thinking, I wonder if a TV remote works on other things, like... Can I make you change your expression like TV channels? Stop! Hey! Hmm. What if I could... Ooh. People I would give the old mute button to. Well, I don't think it's going to work on me. Why don't we try it on my ass tomorrow, okay? Okay! No listen device in the notebook computer, huh? Hmm. What's in the notebook computer? Huh. Do you know what a notebook is? Yes! It's a small book with paper that you can write on. So? Well, that thing is like a notebook in a way. It's basically a small laptop. Um, uh, Mr. Nick? What's a laptop? What's this? It's a small video camera. Don't listen to face in this gizmo. Everyone's trying to make everyone's everything smaller and smaller to be, aren't they, Mr. Nick? That's what it seems like. But I want to grow bigger and bigger! Well, eating only vegetables is... I'm gonna have you there. You have to eat meat too. Wow, there's a really delicious loaf of bread here! In here. It looks like it's been on keep warm all this time since the murder. Well, Mr. Scrub Detective always says, gotta keep the trail and crime scene warm. I think the keep warm in that case is a little more metaphorical. Or. This was the actual thing, I just wanted to mess around a little bit. This is... This is just a giant stuffed teddy bear, right? It's the biggest one I've ever seen! Hey, so did you guys find it yet? The listening to the fight, I mean? No, not yet, but this bear's eye is... Let's see, let's see! A perfectly normal... Stuff bar with some really strong rear waves. Sounds like you found the lit device to me, pal. Let's take this fe big fella's eye out and see what we got. No, you can't. Such, such a fan. Ah. Oof. Rip. No! Done. It's a major camera. Ah, uh, looks like there's more. There's the transmitter and a timer. Uh, what your what matter? A transmitter, pal. Oh. Is this more of that high-tech stuff? This tiny thing is a camera. Yep. It's a pinhole CCD camera, pal. It's a small, high-grade video camera, mostly used in security systems. Oh, so it's a video camera. It runs on a battery, which comes with it in a set. But... There's no video tape in this camera. 
This is only the camera part here, pal. Tip recorder, but the tip inside it is somewhere else. Somewhere else? The footage is changed into real waves and then set it's sent to that recorder. So it's sort of like a TV broadcast, isn't it? Now you know, you're right! Scar camera. Set to record the victim's room for 8 p.m. for one hour. Run was running at the time of the murder. So what's is the transmitter? It's the device that sends the footage the camera took to a specific destination. It's like a video version of a listening device, pal. It looks like it's attached to a small clock-like thing. Oh, that's the timer, pal. You can set it to turn the camera on and record at a certain time of it. You can set it for a certain time? Yep. I see. This looks like it was set to start at 8 p.m. and go for one hour. 8 p.m.? That was the time the award ceremony ended. There's no get set, so it might be been recording every night, I guess. Mr. Detective! How long has this bear been here? Um, I'm pretty sure it's been here since the night of the murder. Then, then maybe... Maybe this karma caught the murder on tip. What? I mean, think about the angle the bear is at. It's better to have a clear shot of the whole scene. Crime, pal. Transmitter. Changes the footage taken by the spy camera into radio waves and transmits the data. So there was a camera in the spare side. And it was disguised as a present. I'm sure I was here the night of the murder, pal. It's pretty big, so it sounds like pretty well in my mind. But who gave Mr. Karita this present? Uh, I, I don't know, pal. But... This means that someone out there has got a video of what happened here that night. Is there any way we can find out who that person is? It's impossible, pal. Real waves can't be sent almost anywhere. So there's no real way to find out. Oh. If... Is there really no way to find out? So far. Cameras. The spy camera was set in the right eye. Found in the control room. I got it! What? Hey, pal. Let me borrow the spinning camera for a bit. What are you do going to do? I'm going to go around the electronic shops to see if I can find out who bought this. But that's impossible. I mean, it's already 9 p.m. Leave to me. Even if I have to search all night, I'll find your mom, pal. But I can't trust me to give him the detective gun sheet. Oh yeah, baby! It's the best kitchen time! I'm on fire, pal! But figure your itchy duck oh! Yeah! He's gone! Yeah. But Mr. Scrappy Detective sure is a nice mom. He's pushing himself so hard, all for Mr. Maya's sake. It's a mystery how you always manage to do things in the most inefficient way, Mr. Right? Arrgh. You'll have to excuse me. I heard your conversation just now. Edgeworth! What are you doing here? Our rescue team has been created and deployed. I can't say I'm optimistic, but we have to move forward one step at a time. I, I see. Thanks. Don't find me yet. We still have to find her. Hmm. So... There was a spy camera hidden inside this stuffed animal, huh? You're a one lucky man, right? Do you know this stuff, bear, little girl? Um, I have no idea. Hmm. Of course not. The maker of the spur is a very expensive, luxurious brand from overseas. It's completely handmade. 
and only a small number of these are exported here. Exported here. What? The camera and transmitter, and then a scattered brain detected to equip him are dead end. So are dead ends. Things like those can be bought anywhere. However, the spur is different. By tracking how I got into this country, the spur can tell us who the buyer is. Can you really do it, Miss Rick? Can you really? Well, I guess so. <laughs> it's 9 p.m. I think I can still make it in time. I'll be taking this for now. I'm sure you have other things you have to do. So the person not stopped by Hedgeworth. That is a sentence. See you soon, right? Wait! What? Why are you doing this? I have no interest in explaining myself to someone who cannot comprehend. Um, but besides that, right? Until Cobra competes tomorrow, you should concern yourself with this question. Who was the person that murdered Juan Corrida? The real killer? Do you really still think it was Adrian Andrews? To be honest, I don't know anymore. You still have a little time left. Find the truth right. Everything begins with the truth. Jun Corrida's real killer. Miss Andrews passed. Kidnapper whose sole condition is an acquittal for Mr. On Guard. And this card, Shelly the Killer. Maya, the only way I can save you now is to find all the answers to this case tonight. I don't understand what your real intentions are, Edgeworth. But as, but as you said, all I can do now, for now is find the truth. And that is part one. Yeah, there's two parts to this, basically. Alright. March 22nd, 9.14pm, Pippa Hotel, Coretta's Hotel Room. Alright, it's past 9pm already, isn't it? I wonder... I wonder if Mr. Edgeworth is all ready for Miss Maya. Things take their... These things take time. I say probably not. The police are professionals, Sprouls. They'll find her, so don't you worry. And if you can win, win a not guilty verdict tomorrow, then everything will be okay. You're right. So the real person who killed Mr. Cryer was that assassin, Mr. Shelley the killer, right? And the car Miss Andrews found at the crime scene seems to be proof of that. But if that's the case. Then a new question comes to mind. Who was the one that hired the killer to begin with? Who is his client? You mean, who asked for the murder? The person didn't want to dirty their own hands and blood. But whoever this client is, they're still a killer. Who, who could have hired the assassin? Do you think it was Miss Andrews? I wonder. But if she was the client, then why go through the effort to stop the victim into the corpse herself? Stop the knife into the corpse herself. But if Miss Andrews was the client, then no, it can't be. Matt on guard himself. If Miss Lagar really did hire the assassin, then he is not innocent at all. Far from it. 
he would be guilty of the crime. But it can't be Mr. Guard, right? I mean, when we first talked to him... Mr. Guard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Did you kill Mr. Jerron Karaita? Alright, just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone. And that includes Jerron Karaita, okay? Didn't see any Cyclops at the time. Actually, that reminds me. Did you, do you remember something, Mr. Nick? Yeah, something Miss Andrew said at the trial today. She said something interesting. Um, so what was, is the interesting thing? Oh, that's right. You didn't hear it, did you, Pearls? Juan had that everything on the Jamming Ninja this year. And if he lost the Grand Prix, he was going to make sure Matt was going down with him. That's what he thought anyway. Looks, it looks like somehow Juan got his hands on a secret so powerful that it would destroy Matt's acting career if it been revealed. Mr. Guard's secret? What is the secret? I don't know yet. But for now, let's think about it this way. Mr. Karaita was going to reveal the secret. That means... Mr. Guard had plenty of motive to kill Mr. Karaita to have Mr. Karaita silence. Which means we have to meet Mr. Guard there. There's no going around in that. March 22nd, get with our to a hallway. Wow, it's really getting late, isn't it, Mr. Ning? Yeah, it's past 9 p.m. already. But we still have some things to prepare for tomorrow's trial. There's still the matter of the secret Mr. Coretta held about Mr. Ungard. And Miss Andrew's real intentions. These are the two things I must know tonight. But aren't Fasinar's over at the detention center? Hmm. I'm sure we'll think of something, Pearls. Don't you worry. March 22nd, give our tail feel a hall. Hey, wait! What is it, Whippersnapper? All I know is nothing that has anything to do... All I know that... Uh, I, all I know is nothing that... That has anything to do with you is ever good. Just like now. I was hunting the streets to face for who knows what reason. I was told to use to, to search the whole hotel. That's the box super, isn't it? One gum she made. I don't know, and frankly, I don't care. But this request came from Edgypu, so Edgeworth. And he said If you feel angry, direct your angry at that unsophisticated lawyer. So I'm going to feel free to direct all my anger towards you! Ugh, jeez. Thanks a bunch, Esper. A pal you are. This is absolutely top secret, so you have... You had better keep it to yourself. I heard they found a spy camera hidden in one of the presents. Hmm, very interesting. I'm sure it was, you know... It was a cat's portrait one in the middle of a scandalous meeting. Scandalous? What's that? It means, well, you know, the ghost that's been going around right about my angel on. Oh, you mean the thing about Miss Andrews? I'm sure she must have had some reason for getting close to Mr. Ferreira. I'll let you in on another secret, youngin. I know who planted that spy camera. It was an obnoxious, puffy haired photographer girl. The nerve of some people. It's finding people by herself. As if I wouldn't want to see it for myself, too. Wow. Elaine actually admitted her true intentions for a change. I don't know what you're thinking exactly, but I can't bet that it's not been good. I didn't say anything. So you want to know about Juan on that manager, right? Actually, I'll say her. Hear it. There was something of a refreshing pair, those two. Oh. I tell you, Juan really welcomed that manager with open arms, I hear. That manager? Who are you talking about? You don't know? That manager woman you are not hot. It's a shame she killed herself, though. Oh, you're talking about Miss 
plus the impact. Miss Andrew's mentor, right? Yes, yes, that's the one. That's the last girl. She was a, supposed to get married, you know. Married? You mean to Mr. Karida? Really, you youngins today don't do anything, do you? The, that girl, Leslie, killed herself three days after their marriage announcement. Three days after their marriage announcement? What in the... Why would Mr. Mpax want to kill herself? She was going to get married. No, well, that's because... She was thrown away, you see. By Juan. What? But they were going to get married, right? They promised each other, right? They held a grand announcement session. But... Three days later, Juan suddenly cancelled their marriage. Is that true? It was in the weekly magazine. But why? Why did he do that? That was not in the magazines, unfortunately. I see. That night after Juan called off the wedding, that monster Celeste killed herself. Quite terrible. I wonder what happened between those two. March 22nd, get our tail, hope we'll tell Lobby. On that night, there must have been at least a few hundred people here. Hmm, I guess the police are done with their questioning and investigating. It looks like things here in the lobby have finally calmed down. March 22nd, police department, criminal first. Feels like it feels sort of tense here, doesn't it, Mr. Nick? Yeah, it does. I wonder if something happened. You're Mr. Ngar's lawyers, right? Ah, yes, sir. Well, we finally found just the person we've been looking for. A real decisive witness. A decisive witness? You mean for the Ngar kiss? We're taking the witness statement now. Got handed to Mr. Edgeworth. It's Edgeworth up to nine. Who is this witness? I think you know this person quite well, Mr. Lawyer. Mr. Nick? Between the kidnappers, the man, and I guess. I can't see anyone who here. Oh, yeah. Mr. Edgeworth wants me to tell you something. You did? Even though visiting the hours are long over at the detention center, he wanted me to grant you special permission, so there you go. What? Before I called them, so they know. Go on. Go talk to your heart's content. Thank you very much. This is such good news, Mr. Nick. You talk to your heart's content. It seems that the police are pretty sure they have tomorrow's trial in the bag. March 22nd, Ryan Cool Office. But it doesn't look like Mr. Shrimp Detective is here. Well, he's out there with the camera asking around at all the electronic stores. Then I'll make some salad for him for dinner. It looks like Pearls really appreciates what Gumshi is doing for us. Uh, Mr. Nick? Huh? Yes? Where is the lettuce? I don't think I've ever bought lettuce before. Aw, I guess I have to give up on making a salad then. Guess the lack of lettuce is kind of a problem. Alright. March 22nd, the detention center, visitor's room. I'm sure there must... My name is the transfer Miss Andrews here by now. That means that both Mr. Regard and Miss Andrews are in this detention center. Hi, Dan. Who sort of do you want to hear? Wait for Miss Andrews first. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry to be visiting at such a late hour. But there are a few questions I absolutely have to ask you tonight. Me? I thought your client was mad. I'm sure Miss Andrews knows something. She can't be clueless about the secret Mr. Karida had on Mr. Ngar. I'd like to ask you about Mr. Man on guard, if you don't mind. That's right, you still don't know, do you? The real him, I mean. You seem to bear a lot of resentment towards Mr. Ngar. If that's the case, then why did you become his manager? And why would you become an intimate with his rival? 
That has nothing to do with this case. Nothing. If I miss Celeste, the impasse. I have finally put her, her death behind me. And now, thanks to you, it's all come back to the surface. I... I'm sorry. Yes, I was shocked by her suicide. And it's true that when I heard the rumors that Juan was the one, we had hidden her suicide note. We got to draw close to him. I wanted to get her suicide note back. On to burn it. You wanted to burn it? But why? I didn't want it to spread like just another piece of gossip. But I never had any murderous intent towards Juan. I would never do something so stupid. A suicide note, huh? I wonder what it said. Why don't you try to flame Ma Mr. Ungard? That's simple. Because he's the killer, that's why. Isn't it the duty of every good citizen to inform the police? But there has to be another way. The police are excellent at doing their job, so they figure it out, right? Yes, they're so good that they, they couldn't figure out the real truth behind Celeste's death. Mrs. Andrew, Mrs. Andrew, sorry. Well, um, I know you're not the type of person to do something without a reason. So please, tell us why you did what you did. Revenge. Huh? Did you say something just now? A psych Huh. Don't you understand yet? You're not my lawyer. So, to be honest, you're more like my enemy. But... I'm sure I just heard Miss Andrew say... Revenge. We need to go. Alright. Dude, it's Mr. Wright! I hope you can get me off the hook tomorrow. I'm counting on you. I hope so too. I swear just dropped a bombshell on me by saying. That Juan Corrida was killed by an assassin. And that the assassin's clan is this man, mad on guard. What's wrong? This on guard. There is something I must know with 100% certainty. You, you seem kind of different. You're totally not like your usual lawyer self, dude self. Um, about the press conference. You mean the one where Juan was going to dress up as a nickel samurai? Yeah. I heard a little more about it from Miss Andrews. It looks like somehow Juan had his hands sorry, had in his hands a secret so powerful that it would destroy Matt's acting career had it been revealed. Could you please fill me in on what the secret is, please? I knew this was coming. Mr. So Nick, don't tell me. Cyclox. You said a secret, right? I don't have any idea what it is. Do you, dude? Do you know about Mr. Karida and Miss Andre's relationship? Well, it's all over the tabloids, dude. Ah, but I don't know any of the details, if that's what you mean. Look, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't care what Juan did with his life. Miss An Mrs. Uh, Miss Andrews. She had a purpose in mind when she started seeing Mr. Karida. Her mentor Mr. Kar was Mr. Karida's manager. And Miss Andrews was going to get Miss Celeste's impasse suit side note for him. Celeste? Does that joke any memories? Dude, I suddenly got totally hungry. Go for a pizza? My treat! Uh, Mr. Nick? What's a pizza? Is it a kind of pea? Like green peas? Let's go eat one later, okay? Ah, uh, I could cut up by the pizza dude at the shop. That's too bad. Well, how about we get our minds off this topic and talk about something else, okay? Mr. 
Just in regard, are you connected to Miss Enha's suicide in some way? Alright, let's go back. March 22nd, police station, Colonel First Apartment. Oh, Mr. Wright, please. You have to help me. Uh oh. Mr. Powers? What happened? Why are you here? I, I, um, uh, you see, I got roped into this somehow. What? And now I'm going to testify at tomorrow's trial. So the, so the decisive witness is Mr. Powers? I was talking with the detective until a little while ago, and I was on my way home. And all of a sudden, you there! You're under arrest! I was brought back here. Oh. I see my face and whole self in general look suspicious or something. Hmm, well, I guess I can see how they thought you looked suspicious. Yeah, I'm just a normal guy on an exercise suit, an exercise shoe for kids. It's not a crime. So about the testimony you're giving, what are you talking about? What are you going to talk about? Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, I don't really know yet. But it sounds like I saw something pretty important from what they tell me. You saw something important? What was it? Ah, well, the detective told me not to talk about it. You can't tell anyone. And especially not that lawyer, he says. He says that. And who do you think that lawyer the detective was talking about? I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's me. Yeah, you got it. Mr. Nick! Ms. Maya and myself are, are our only two allies in this whole world. But it's alright. Ouch. I don't really have a lot of friends, do I? This is going to do a lot of damage to Machino. You know, because he's got that freshy, refreshing like a spring breeze image going. But what is he really like? Well, let's see. Matt's always been kind of a player with one. He would never really turn a pretty face away. If you know what I mean. He always say, it's just a game to justify himself. What? Hi, horrible! That's unforgivable! Oh, sorry. Didn't mean the Avenger. Did you know, he said once that there's only one person in the whole world who won't swoon over me. One person who wouldn't swoon over him? It's Manager, you know. Miss Adrian Andrews. Why is Mr. Power suddenly looking kind of energetic? Ah, you see, I'm actually a sucker for gossip. I mean, celebrities on their world have this dazzling sort of image, right? A dazzling sort of image? Uh, aren't you part of that dazzle, Mr. Powers? No, I'm more of a hairy, smelly, sweaty, smelly, British kind of guy, you see. It's okay, really. I get to hear plenty of gossip about a lot of the other stars around me as, a, as things happen. Well, that's true. Oh, hey! So did you hear about this yet? About Miss Aunt... She's mentoring her suicide? You mean Miss Impax? We heard something about, about how her wedding was cancelled. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I thought about it a little, a little the other day. About that mysterious death. Hey, Mr. Wright! Why don't you ask him about that? Go on, go ahead. The power is so charged up, his skin is practically glowing with electricity. Hey, so you have you heard this? Celeste left a suicide note. And they said Juan went and hid it. We heard about that in court today. But there wasn't any actual proof that she had left a note. Well, this is what I think. I think that something bad was written on that note. Something bad for Juan, that is. Something bad for Mr. Corrida? Why did you figure so? Well, before she died, Celeste talked with a few of her friends. And she said, It looks like I got caught up with a truly insidious man. A 
truly insidious Mon? Is she being Mr. Corrida by then? Well, there's no one else that fits the bill, right? Uh, there would be reason enough for him to hide the suicide note. I see. Well, that's some good info. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. McGuire and Miss Andrews. They're both at the detention center right now. There's still some things I don't understand or know about, I'm sure. I'll have to get the two then to tell me everything. Mr. Nick! Your phone! Hey, that's the Seal Summary theme song, isn't it? I don't like the sound of this ringtone right now. It sounds kind of ominous. Yeah, I know. Uh, we're in trouble now, pal! I'll, I'll be back at the office real soon. Really soon. Watch what? Something really unexpected just happened. Mr. Edgeworth, eat! Edgeworth? Anyway, hurry and get back to the office, pal. I don't know what's going on anymore. It's not good. The end, I... Hello? He got cut off. Uh, what's going on, Mr. Nick? Don't you say we need to go back to the office right away? Then we should hurry back. I'm scared to go back. What are you talking about, Mr. Nick? Pull yourself together. Uh, maybe it would be good news. Somehow, I doubt that. March 22nd, Brighton Cool Office. What took you so long, pal? Mr. Andrews couldn't stick around forever and had to go. Well, what happened? We got him. We know who bought that spy camera. Eh? That? This quickly? And the spare is what gave them away, pal. The bear. I figured it out, pal. I figured that we should have been looking into that bear instead of the camera. Um, but wasn't the Mr. Edgeworth that they- Shh, pearls. And, go on. There's only one person who bought one of these bur those burrs who's related to this crime. Who is it? Who would be so rude to spy on another person in the room? Matt on guard. Huh? Matt on guard. You're glad. That's who, pal. Here I thought things couldn't get any worse. Are you sure you heard right? The the person who bought the this bar was I heard it from the department store clerk, pal. This is the credit card receipt for the purchase. It's for pretty hundred dollars, pal. That's an exact match to, to the price of that stuff bar. A receipt? That's all you have? Nah, it's not just the receipt, pal. The store clerk said to himself. He told me, I'm sure so this bird is on guard. I mean, the clerk even got the on guard's autograph out of it, pal. So I'm sure the person that bought the stuffed bird was Mr. on guard himself. Alright, my sight is feeling me. This can't be. Credit card receipt out of the corner. Receipt for $3,800. Proof my on guard bought the stuffed bird. Identical to the one in Evan. So, but the spy camera we find. Ah, that was a dead end, pal. I mean, you can get this kind of thing from anywhere. But for now, I guess I can get these back to you. By the way, into the oven. So we got these back. Spy camera, transmitter, and stuff bar refilled into the corporate court. I know you don't want to give up, pal. I never thought... I didn't think it was possible. The person who put the spy camera in Juan Correia's room was Matt on guard. Why? Why would Mr. Guard do something like that? This. I bet it was to catch Miss Andrews and Mr. Correia in one of the rendezvous. I bet it's not good enough for me. I have to know the absolute truth behind this camera. Are you going to see him, Mr. Guard? I mean, yes. I'm. I'm scared, Mr. Nick. I wonder. I wonder what we would find. We'll find out next. I'm scared myself, but I have to put on a good face for pearls. Not on guard. What in the world have you done? <laughs> okay, you mean setting the spec camera up to the room? Yeah, and the record in the time of the murder of two pal. 
which you find that just a tad suspicious. It doesn't seem like a coincidence to me. Ah, I mean, don't mind me. I didn't mean to put it that way, pal. What way did you mean? You're working really late, you know? It's already past 10 a.m. 10 p.m., dude. I think it's time you told me the truth. Relax. Don't you know that ignorance is bliss? But if you really want to know, let's talk. We have everything that. My secret. Nay, let's see what the secret of yours is. What if Mr. Credit had been successful in his plan? What would he have disclosed? I told you before, dude. I don't know. I don't know anything about Juan, okay? Look, Mr. Wright. I keep on saying that until I'm blue in the face, but... I totally didn't pay, pay Joanne any attention the whole time that night. I mean, come on! I was in the middle of a nap. Don't lie to me. Huh? I know you pay close attention to the karate, especially on that night. This bear was in Mr. Karate's room on the night of the murder. A bear that was supposed to be a present from a fan. So, it's a present, dude. It actually looks kind of classy, if you know what I mean. Yes, I hear it's quite expensive. Which is why it's very odd that this gadget was found inside the bear. Take that! This is, the far this is a very small video camera. And it was hidden inside this bear's eye. Maybe it's a really curious bear. Well, whatever this bear saw was sent somewhere using this transmitter. Which means... Someone on the night of the murder was secretly filling Mr. Coretta's room. Hmm... I guess you ought to have a few of those kinds of fans too, huh, dude? Actually, I wouldn't say... This bear was a present from a fawn. Hmm, you sure, dude? Who else could it be from? The person who gave this bear to Mr. Cry was... Take that! Mr. Ungard. Don't you know this bear from somewhere? I don't think I've ever met Mr. Bear before, dude. Aww. But he says he knows you. How could you forget such a great friend? What else did the bear tell you? He said that the one who put the camera in his eye was she, Mr. Ungard. If I did... If I didn't know how you worked in court, I think I was in some serious trouble. Come on, this is all a joke, right, dude? You're just pulling my leg. Looks like you're not ready to give up your secret yet. Well, do you have any proof you, you show me for? You want to show me first? Here's the proof that I know it was you who put the camera inside the bear. I have here one credit card receipt, Mr. Ungard. It's from when you bought that stuff fur. Dude, all you can tell tell from that is that I spent $3,800. I go to that department store all the time, okay? That $3,800? This could be the toothbrush I bought that one time. A $3,800 toothbrush? It's I three, and it's got eleven elephant hairs for brush bristles. No, elephant hair. It's not what rich people use nowadays. Anyway, the store clerk clearly remembered you and your purchase. After all, you even gave him an autograph, did you not, dude? You should have said that earlier. Um, so what can I- so can I ask you one thing? Yes. You're my lawyer, right, dude? So, if you are, then why are you looking into stuff like that? 
because if I don't know the truth, I can't help you. So it's more like stupid lawyer talk to me. Hey, let's stop talking about this, okay? No, not yet. I haven't asked you why you set this camera the camera up yet. And what your secret is. Of course, it would be strictly confidential. So, what are you going to do now? I'm going to find out what I want to know. Because I must. The reason you hit this camera in Mr. Crowd room, room I'm filming in secret is... Who thinks I want to try? Oh, card, yeah. What is that car? This card? Maybe he doesn't know about this card. This is a certain man's calling card. The man's name is Shelly the Killer. And I'm sure you know of him, don't you? Shelly the Killer? That's ridiculous! Why would I know some shady scumbag like him? If you really don't know him, then why are you acting so jumpy all of a sudden? Um, this is it. I'm starting to get the truth. I can't afford to make any more of 6 9 What's on guard? I know why. I know why you know Mr. the Killer. It's because... Since you're the one who sat up the, that camera, that means you knew. You knew exactly what was going to happen in that room. So, hi. How would you know something like that? It's because you're his client, that's why. You hire Shelly the Killer to assassinate Mr. Juan Corrida. The real mastermind behind the whole murder. This whole murder is... You! Mountain Guard! <sighs> and here I was, trying to be a good boy for you, dude. I thought if you didn't know, you'd be able to do your job without feeling bad. Well, that's what I thought. Anyway. Mr. Orn Guard? You really did hire... Hold on a sec. I'm going to, I'm going to consult myself, okay? Consult? Myself? Well, I guess it's probably about time anyway. About time for what? I think it's time for you to meet him now, Mr. Lawyer Dude. How do you do, Mr. Lawyer? I'm Matt Hungard. Well done, Mr. Wright. I bet it wasn't easy to gather as much information as you have. You really... So you are Shelly the Clare's clan. You didn't think I would dirty my own hands in this, did you? What did you mean? Do you mean? And that woman, Agent Andrews, was quite... I'm sorry, Agent was quite brave herself. Trying to stick the crime on me. I didn't think she had it in her. But all I care about is that Joanne is dead. Is that right, Mr. Lawyer? That's... You're lying. Why is it terrible? It's way past your bedtime, little girl. Go on and let us grown-ups talk about more... Adult things. Why? Why did you hide the video camera on? A weakling soon believes the word of others. Like that pathetic... And just like that pathetic Adrian. You never miss Andre's secret. But I know, Weakling. I don't believe anyone, least of all assassins. What? Oh, come on, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. They turn their clients into cash cows by holding the sinful deeds over their head. And a superstar like me... How much do you think I'm worth? Can I guess? And... And that's why... Yes. That's where the video comes in. It's got his face and the crime scene recorded on it. 
for Sir for all time. With that, I can keep him at bay. Even blackmail him if I want it. That's right. That video is my insurance. Isn't that what they call it, Mr. Wright? Why would you do something so wrong? Because I'm a grown-up. I can't, and I can. Good enough answer for you, little girl. Why? Why would you come with the Karina? Because he was about to sling so much dung into my beautiful public image. Scandals are a little annoying, aren't they? This is all because of that press conference, isn't it? If Mr. Karina had been able to give it, then Mr. Ungar Seeger would have... Ah, well, that's what we call taking advantage of the situation, you know. I had no intention in doing it, really. But bit by bit, it crept up on me. And then the situation just presented itself so... Presented itself perfectly, sorry. How beautiful, I thought. I'm not... That's how Mr. Credit ended up dead. Let me tell you something. I'm not like Adrian. I don't depend on anyone. People are simple things to be used. Used and thrown away. Put on a sweet, innocent face, and people will swallow anything you feed them. Adrian Thelfort, the assassin to... Oh, how can I forget? Even you fell for it, Mr. Lawyer. Everyone, all working their butts off for me. Mad on guard. Aw, oh, did that leave you speechless? What a shame. What's wrong, Mr. Lawyer? You've grown awfully quiet. Why could I have been so deceived by you all this time? When we first met, I asked if you had killed Mr. Duran Karida. And you answered very clearly that you hadn't killed anyone. Nah, I, I never... Hey now, I never told you any lies. The person who did the killing was that the killer guy, right? All I'm guilty of is taking a cab nap in my room. You... You... You killed Mr. Karida! <laughs> I dare you to say that in court tomorrow. Ah, oh, but too bad you can't. You're my lawyer after all, aren't you? You could always drop my case and refuse to represent me. How does that sound? Aw, oh, but you can't, can you? That would be the only, that would be the one thing you absolutely can't do. Mystic Maya! You wouldn't want to test the killer. He's a man of his word. But so I hear. Could end up getting a certain friend of yours robbed out if you lose. You scoundrel! So if I were you, Mr. Wright, the squire, I think I would give it my all tomorrow. Remember, everyone likes a happy win-win resolution. I... I'll get you for this! That's such a cliché phrase. Juan said something just like that in memory serves. Of course, well, we all know how things turned out for him, don't we? Good night, Mr. Lawyer. Maya. Maya! What am I supposed to do? Good night. Now you finally found it. The start in line with this kiss. Edgeworth! I don't care for the hurt up I don't care for the hurt atmosphere here. Let's return to the panic. March 22nd, police the station, Kremlin the fires depart. Well, right, what are you going to do? You plan on changing your strategy. No! We can't do that! That's right. He's holding Maya hostage. What? What should I do? 
That's not something I can answer for you. Mr. Edgeworth! Right? Only you can decide where to go from here. One year ago, at that time, I truly, I'm sorry, I didn't truly understand what a prosecutor is. And that is why I had to leave the prosecutor's office. I thought that I couldn't stand in, the court, in a court of law until I knew what a prosecutor really is. And now I write, it's your turn. My turn? What is this thing called a lawyer? What can you do as one? You must find the answer. And you must find it on your own. I'm a lawyer. To fight for someone who's clearly a killer. I'm on guard. I'm honest, really. It doesn't matter who. Every person deserves a proper defense and a fair trial. Isn't that the basis of our judicial system? Proper defense? But what exactly is that? Is it where lawyers forcefully and by blindly get an acquittal through shouting any trickery? Ironic that you of all people should say such a thing. Isn't that exactly how you have fought for your clients up until now? Uh, well, that may be true, but, but that's... That's because I believe my clients to be innocent from the bottom of my heart. But if I were to get on guard on the quill, that, that isn't a proper defense at all. I became a lawyer because I thought I, thought I could see people who were suffering and pain. But when I look at the mess we're in, I can't even protect the person closest to me. Even if I win this kiss, I still lose in the end. I just don't know what to do. Right. Would you get a hold of yourself? You have it all wrong. Huh? We aren't some sort of heroes. We're only human, you and I. We want to see if someone... That's something easier said than done, wouldn't you say? That's... You are the defense attorney. You can't run away from that. You can only fight. That's all you can do. People like you and Francesca Falcara are always using all you have to pin me down. You fight to the very end, even when you know the truth is not with you. But I'm not like you. I can't fight for a false verdict. For a man I clearly know to be guilty. Francesca. She fights for herself. Only thing she fights for is her perfect win record. That's all. And? Isn't that the same as you? Isn't that why you ran away a year ago? Because your precious win record was destroyed? You are so petty. I see. Now I understand why you despise me so. However, you are mistaken. What did you what do you nice to you when you sealed off my path to a perfect win record? I began to realize the error of my ways. I realized that things such as a perfect record were meaningless. What? I don't believe you. Are you saying that is why you left the prosecutor's office? But then, why? Why are you here now? The answer to that is something you will find out on your own. I have faith you will see it before the verdict gets read tomorrow. But if you can't, and you will be powerless to change the ending of this story. Mr. Nick! The transceiver! I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Night then, Mr. Attorney. Do you wager you can attend an acquittal tomorrow? Bye bye. What is the matter, Mr. Attorney? I don't sense your usual anger this time. Tell me, please. Why are you holding my hostage for Mr. Ngart's sake? Why are you... Why are you doing this for that cold-blooded killer? Right? Please don't misunderstand things. He is my client. Don't toy with me. 
a man who hires an assassin is just as much as a killer himself. I believe you were asking me for a reason as to why I am doing what I do. Start doing what I am. Yeah. This is what I like to call my aftercur. What the heck is aftercur? My name carries a certain amount of honor and dignity, Mr. Attorney. I take good care to ensure that no suspect falls upon my clan for my hunt. That is what I call. Right, that is what, what is called client relationships. And it is a part of an assassin's duty. An assassin's duty? We were unlucky this time, and my client was arrested as a suspect. As a result, I did what I had to do to enlist your expert help, Mr. Attorney. And to ensure that you would do everything in your power to the very end. Oh, what is your name? I believe I told you once before. However, you did, but my name is The Killer. Shelly The Killer. Your Shelly The Killer? Please keep in mind you do not have much space to maneuver with me. As a The Killer, I always finish what I started to do. If you fa fail to keep up your end of the bargain. Maya! It would be my duty as an assassin to see to it she receives a nice long nap. Ah, no! Now then, if you excuse me, if someone were to trace this signal back to me, it would be quite troublesome. <laughs> Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! I... I don't know what to say. Edgeworth! Hmm? Did you hear that? At the end of that transmission? Huh? Oh, that. It sounded like a cat. A cat? It can't be! That cat! Can it? What is it? I think... I know where Shelly the Killer is holding my hostage! Edgeworth! Have all the police units head for Angar's mansion immediately! Alright. You hurry over there as well. Then. Don't lose hope yet, Pearls. The fight has only just begun. Yeah! March 22nd, on Garth's Mansion, living room. Maya! Please answer us, Mystic Maya! We have this area completely surrounded. There's no way for him to escape. Assuming he's still in the area. Can't believe it. That butler. All this time, he was the killer! He and Ungar were working together.